Steph Curry on my TV screen. I will take it any night of the week. The reigning NBA champion Golden State Warriors are looking to find their way thus far this season with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat in the Chase Center. And speaking of Butler, him and Bam Adebayo look good in this one. Jimmy B with a bounce pass to Adebayo, little floater. Other end we go, and Drew Wiggins cleaning up the miss and scoring the rock. This time there will be no miss to clean up as Curry takes care of business. Steph was in his bag in this one. Curry to the rack. Warriors up 59-50. Look at this beautiful ball movement by Miami, though. Lowry finding his man at the top of the key. It's Jimmy B, 4-3. And then Butler right before the half. That goes down, and we got a tight one going into the locker room in the third. Miami takes the one-point lead off the three from Butler. It's Curry up top to James Wiseman. He's starting to come along, ladies and gentlemen. Warriors might have another nice piece. Steph is a nice piece yesterday and today and probably tomorrow. Curry knocks down a three. And then how about Bam out of Bayou with a tough deuce? Out of Bayou had 26 points, eight boards. Jimmy Butler, how about this for a stat line? 27 points, eight assists, six rebounds, six steals. But it's not going to be enough. Why? In large part due to that guy, Curry, on one, knocking down a three. And this time, Steph to his right hand man is Splash brother Clay Thompson with the three. And then how about this effort from Draymond to Clay to you know who? It's Steph. And like Kenny Smith says, he makes that shot look Steffortless. Curry, 33 points, nine assists. He looks great to kick off this season. The Warriors get the win at home, 123 to 110. Well, Clay Thompson did address some comments made by inside the NBA zone, Charles Barkley, following this game. Charles has said this the other night. There was a time when Clay Thompson was the best two way guard in the NBA, and he's not the same guy, and that's because of, of injuries. Is he done? No, I don't think he's done. I think he's slowing down and is catching up with him. That's why he's frustrated. Uh, Clay saw these comments. Obviously, Chuck's one of, if not the biggest things in media. And, and clear as day, Clay admitted that he was hurt from Charles' response. He said, it hurts when someone like Charles Barkley, with the platform he has, says, you are not the same player as prior to the injuries you had. It's like, no duh, man. I tore my ACL and my Achilles in consecutive years and still helped the team win a championship. I mean, that hurts hearing that because it's like, man, I put so much freaking effort to get back to this point like it's hard to even put into words what I had to do to get back to the player I am today I played 55 57 games in three years like give me some freaking time to get that back to hear someone say oh no he's not the same as he was prior to the injuries like duh who goes through something like that and comes back like I don't know it just hurt my heart hearing that but you know what I'm going to internalize it, and it's going to be fuel for me to be even better. I'm very proud of what we accomplished last year, and I feel like I was a huge part of it. I'm not going to let these injuries be a crutch of, uh, for me. I'm just going to keep going, and I'm going to have a great year bet on that. And Steph Curry, Clay's teammate, even doubled down on those comments. He said, the comments are a part of our success right here. We are always going to be in the spotlight, and people care about how you are playing and care to come in positively or negatively because they know that will move the needle. But it's interesting because certain guys kind of forgot what their careers look like on the back end. So you kind of uh, cast and, and, and throw those stones. But Clay is still in here helping us win a championship. That's from Steph. And obviously you heard Clay's comments. Steph was taking a shot at Charles. And I think if anything, Clay admitted that he was just hurt by Barkley's comments, but I got to be real with you guys. I'm not somebody that just agrees with Chuck just to agree with Chuck. I think he's sometimes makes good points, oftentimes make bad points. I mean, Ch Charles ain't do nothing but say what everybody else is thinking. If you watch the Warriors play, it is very weird to really describe Golden State because I got to give Clay and Draymond credit. Charles did have some comments about uh, Draymond Green slowing down as well. On that same Inside the NBA broadcast, I did watch it. I always watch Inside the NBA on Tuesday nights during football season on Thursdays when football is over. Um, Draymond actually technically works with Charles on Inside the NBA in his spare time during the season. Um, Charles said what everybody else is thinking. The Warriors have this interesting dynamic where guys like Clay and Draymond 
They have played themselves into their roles so well. They play so well within their roles. It's really tough to see anyone else replacing them. Like Jordan Poole to me is clearly a better talent than Clay, but Clay just plays that role so well. If Clay can just start shooting the ball better again, like there's no way Jordan Poole or anybody else replacing them. But as of right now, you know, Jordan Poole just got paid. It to me, in theory, it would make more sense in a couple years when Clay's contract is up to let him walk and just use the money that you already paid Jordan Poole, which though it seems like a lot of money to pay a guy off the bench, if Jordan Poole's your starting two guard, I mean, it, it seems like it works well. Like that would be a steal then. A Jordan Poole, a guy that to me plays well with Steph, is he Clay at his prime? Nah, 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 nah. Let's not get ridiculous. But Jordan Poole can shoot the rock, not as good as Clay, but good enough. And he's a slasher, probably a little better of a slasher than Clay was at his best. Not the defender that Clay was at his best. I hope Clay returns to the guy of old, um, but right now I just don't see it. And for Draymond, you know, there are a few guys that could replace him. Andrew Wiggins can maybe take a little bit of that Draymond role. And these young fellas that, that the Warriors got on his bench, man, because they were bad for a couple years in a row, they were able to get these lottery picks between Jonathan Kaviga and James Wiseman. You would think if, if one of these guys can bring come to part mentally, like be somewhat of what J Draymond's IQ, which, by the way, is one of the best IQs in basketball. If one of these guys comes alone, they're both clearly better athletes, better sizes, better physiques than, than Draymond. If, if one of these guys can come along from the mental standpoint and understanding the game, you would think the Warriors would rather pay them half of what Draymond might want on the open market. So I think Charles said what everybody else is thinking – Clay and, and Draymond are not the players that they once used to be. I appreciate that Clay cares so much about his craft that it, it bothers him seeing somebody with a voice like Chuck say that about him. When Charles Barkley talks, it makes all the big news sites the next day, the TMZs, the NBC Sports, the CBS Sports, the Yahoo Sports, the ESPNs. It makes its way all around the media cycle, all over the Instagram blogs. So I get it. Honestly, though, if I were Clay, I wouldn't even care. You know, like, he won his fourth championship just months ago. Look, all these television sites, Pharaoh, all these YouTube sites, we got to say something. Like, I'm not going to get your attention if I have nothing to say. So oftentimes you hear people saying comments that, yeah, maybe Charles Barkley could have said that a nicer way. But he's Chuck for a reason. He gets paid the big bucks for a reason. I'm sure um, – <laughs> Inside the NBA, Turner's not paying this man maybe $200 million to go up there and just say, well, I think Clay had a good game. Clay's good. He's a good player. No, they want to hear some things. They want to hear Chuck tell what's really on his mind. That's what he get paid for. If I was Clay, I wouldn't even care. All these blog sites and, and TV shows, it's too much to keep up with. Well, even a guy like Charles Barkley, a Hall of Famer, you shouldn't care what he says about your night tonight. You get yours back playing good ball and winning championships.